Hey, and welcome to the new Crowhole podcast, where we talk to everything music, from finger drumming to fruit pedals. We celebrated Piano Day with a new announcement and old tales from the front lines of World War Two. It had to be um, restored. Right. So, so it actually went out and yeah, and there's the front lines. That's insane. Plus, we had a really special guest who performed with a really quirky instrument that I've never heard played so beautifully. Okay. Right, we're yeah. going. Here we are. So, um, hello to everybody to the Crow Hill Network. And um, yeah, very official. Um, so we are doing our monthly live stream, which has morphed into a podcast. But if you're viewing from Instagram, then um, you're joining us here live tonight in Edinburgh from the Annex. So we've got a like action-packed hour and a half. So you might be catching up with this tomorrow, doing your dishes. But um <laughs> It's well, only day to do dishes. It, yeah, exactly. Exactly. They do my, they do my dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if there's a service going, I'll sign up to yeah. do your dishes. That's Jojo does the dishes yeah, yeah, and makes you listen to this podcast. <laughs> but we've got an action packed hour and a half for you here. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of give you a big uh overview and a debrief of what we've been getting up to. Um so we're gonna be talking about something new that Cam has been busy creating. Um we're going to be talking about Christian's first ever cello lesson, which was a, a, a tough half hour for him, but he's arrived. How much did he pay you? Uh, nothing. nothing? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a, the, it was a, it was a, a tough, a tough 15 minutes, because normally... 15? Well, he did all that in 15 minutes, yeah, yeah. Normally that would be like three lessons worth, so... When, is, when does he go for like an exam, some kind of... We need to grade Grade one yeah. it's incoming. So what else are we doing? We've got um, a very special thing from Piano Day, uh, which we're going to be hearing, which us three haven't heard yet. Um, I did contribute. Did you play on it? No, did I you, didn't. Did you know? I, didn't no. I did. I did the thing. Um, <laughs> we've got an amazing special guest who's done a live performance for us, which we are so excited to share and have a blather with, um, with her later. We've got some challenge winners to announce. Um, we've got a very weird pedal to test yeah. and also a big thing which is that Christian is not here yeah yeah you were a man down today we were a man you've down. usurped him <laughs> you've just taken over you've just we don't yeah. know we, yeah, yeah. we don't know where he is so we don't we, we think he might have quit Crow Hill and he's left us in charge mm. um, but there are rumors flying around that he might have started a new company called Omza where he combines yeah. omelets and pizzas so I heard he joined like the gymnastics team that was oh. See, yeah. rumor I saw See, I, I, my thought was it was a botched botched plastic surgery something's going <laughs> he on got the BBL <laughs> Uh, yeah, a sight to see. Yeah, so it's it's um we're we're flying solo, but Christian is not particularly well, so we're wishing him a speedy recovery to get well soon. With us in spirit. Oh, yeah. he's also definitely watching. Oh yeah. 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 He's yeah. Like, yeah. Our, our phones are lighting up right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel that the um the piano day mega mix might have just mm -hmm. pushed him over the edge this time. I mean, I saw some crazy animation. I thought it was like. I thought he was on paint or something, like just drawing imaginary lines or on Figma, but that's, <laughs> <I know. laughs> that's some crazy it's stuff. Insane. Yeah. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah. So, nice. well, so what have you been getting up to, Jojo? Because you've been doing a lot of things yeah. down in the south. Down in south, down in London town, Lewisham's finest. I was about to start rapping, then I was <laughs> like, you know what? I'll, I'll save you guys the honour of me rapping. But um, that's been good. I've been on eBay a lot recently because... Um, the new vaults dropped, which was really cool. Ooh. Studio drums. So I bought like a MIDI, um, like touchpad controller. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I got outbidded like six different times. So I came off on like a massive losing streak of eBay bids because like, I just want to make the most of it. Yeah. But I just had to buy something full price. So that arrives when I get back to London. So yeah, I'm pretty gassed for that. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Cool. And uh, Cam, what have you been? Uh, I've Up not, I've, in case my family are watching, I've not been on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> any more. HMRC is the one you want to worry about. You yeah. took one for the team last if, time. If any more boxes, bucket. yeah, if any more boxes turn up to my house, people are going to leave me. Um, yeah, I love that I'm right now. So yeah, uh, we're working on this huge project we're going to mention later. Uh, and yeah, really upping the things we're doing. I think uh, we have a big surprise come next month for all the people that missed out on Cosmos, which is the free thing we did on Black Friday. We have some other fun limited freebies that we're cooking up that look insane. Um, and we're also prepping to do some fun stuff with vaults. Wait, sorry. I've just been reminded that there's a Crow Hill drinking game that we're doing this time. 
we have some rules, and one of them is that anytime someone mentions oh, the word insane, oh no, <laughs> you've got to drink. Well, <laughs> if there's one thing I can do, is drink. Fair, fair. We can tease, you know, we can tease some of the other rules later on. I really thought I wasn't going to fall for that as well. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm yeah. desperately trying to remember what all the rules are. So I can I'll do it. I'll do it around briefly. them. Thank you. Yeah. And, yeah, and uh, yeah, just working on yeah, some Vault stuff. I think we feel Vault's has done really well. There's literally tens of thousands of people using it, nice. which is crazy. Amazing. Um, and we feel it could use a little bit of a, a, a revamp of how we do it. So that'll be coming up pretty soon as well. Nice. Oh, exciting. So some kind of overhaul for some, the way Some, a little, much like... Uh, Someone not here, a little, little facelift. Just gonna <laughs> it's got the BBL, you know. Yeah. It's just got, like, just got a... way more keys down below, you know. It's, it's hitting the club on a Friday night. Yeah, I see that. So for anyone that's not um, been on the journey from the start, can you talk us through what the vaults have been so far? How many we've no. done? Um, yes, so we have just released our sixth vault, uh, which okay. we sort of gave the game away because we released the first one in October and then there was five little slots afterwards. Um, which is nice because people kept emailing, asking what's next. Um, yes, we've done, uh, this is where you're testing me and I'm not going to remember. <laughs> we have done uh, a piano, strings, uh, Celeste Tone. Love that one. Um, uh, we've done a guitar, yeah. a synth, and drums. Yes. I, I definitely made them, so I should remember. <laughs> um, As a creator, do you have a favorite, or is that like... Well, no, I should ask you, what, what's, what's, what, like, what's your favorite one? What's my favorite? Chorus synth. What's, yeah. I think, I think I love the Celeste tone. Celeste tone goes hard it to play. Those beautiful. two together. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Chorus That's synth cool. is my favorite, but Celeste tone gets the most, gets most love in the inbox. Mm. I think it's nice to have like a mixture of like short and longs as well, so I think that's why probably why Celeste tone is so, so popular. Yeah, so we have um, we have got our drums vault here. We do. I've I've spent the past half an hour trying to stop you, <laughs> trying to stop you smashing yeah, those things. Like, this has to be in front of me, like a kid in a sweet shop. Yeah, that's just that thing because like I've always I was introduced to keyboards by samples, so mm. I'm used to not thinking about a note as a pitch, but like a note as a way to play back a file. Yeah, which is really mm. not right. So it's interesting because you see a piano and go, I'm going to play that pitch. And yeah, I, yeah. I saw you trying to play a chord on the drum kit. Yeah. I was like, what's going on? You go, I'm, I know. I'm going to play that pitch and suddenly it's like a, someone kicking a hi-hat and you're yeah, just very confused. Like... <laughs> oh. Different vibe. Yeah. Um, Can we have a demo, Cam? Well, no, I think you should go first. I think we should have okay. a go. But <laughs> what, what I was explaining to you was so the, there's a sort of general rule to mapping drums. Okay. So uh, C is always going to be a kick drum and D is always going to be a snare. And then... Uh, F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp are going to be hi hats nice. close to open. And you have miscellaneous symbols after that. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's going to be my skills because I just I just look at it and want to do all this sh- stuff. Jojo. I felt the I felt the chordal change. I felt the yeah the moods going through my body. I felt like I was in church for a second. But you you actually did do something that sounded really cool earlier. I did it. Was just no. I'll, like I'll, a beat, a proper beat. beat. You oh, did. I'm just turning my ass to the camera. It's it's <laughs> a, the really geeky things that I really like. So the hi hats, the hi hats choke each other. Oh. So you can do that. <laughs> Oh, that is cool. That hi- sorry, sorry, it's just like context. The co- context. the correct term is choking. The, the, the open and closed hi hat. <laughs> now you can do cool beats. Nice. And you were laughing because I and did a little counting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's I so think great. I think you only really need to care about the kicks and the hi hats. The rest is just fanfare. And I, I enjoyed that. The, 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 the <laughs> <laughs> Jojo. Yeah, I mean, everything I play ends up turning into Afro beats or dance hall. But let's I think. So. Oh. Well, like we should have all watched Christian's uh, finger drumming one hundred and one. I did. And all, did you see the comments on that? I I just found it all quite complicated, to be honest. It's not, it's not my world. Whew. I think people with uh, MIDI keyboards are just pretending to be musicians as, as well as they can. Okay, who's emceeing on this? Uh, Alice, and go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you got the Supreme on, you know? I, th- yeah, my- <laughs> I think that, like, you're already like drinking tequila. We swapped that for a Magnum. And it's I water. It. I'm seeing. It. No, it's not. I'm drinking water. There's no evidence. H2O. For anyone watching, it's definitely not water. 
but I love how it's mirrored. Like, I think it's nice to be able to like stretch it out. Like in the office, I don't know if you saw on Slack, someone called Andre um, sent in a video. Well, yeah. he didn't, he tagged us in a video. And I was like, I was just about to start finger drumming. Then I saw that and I was like, you know what? Yeah, just obliterate. I'm not, but yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm not that guy. I'm not him. So yeah. So the idea is that, so you can do like rolls, uh, two octaves above the, it's relatively mirrored. Okay. Um, and it's just so you can play blast beats and pretend you're in a metal band. Fair. I've never actually used a drum kit where it's mirrored before. So yeah, I'm just going to practice that. I just felt like a de facto thing. It's just so you go. Mm -hmm. Do you want to show us how it's done? I think you could, well, I'm not standing up again. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> um, yeah, I think you can do it. Okay, 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 okay. So it's, there oh. you go. <laughs> ah. ah. What is that? I feel, yeah. like, feel like I need to get this down. Yeah, it's... Well, I, I hear Slip Thought looking for a drummer. Sign me up. I'm ready, coach. <laughs> it's actually really warm in here, so I'm getting sweaty so easily. <laughs> Smashed it. Yeah. Smashed it. We noticed that earlier. It's because we have so many like synths switched on, mm -hmm. and each one... Oh. Each one is basically a radiator at is this point. Is that why it's so warm? It's, if you it's wave, a, if you wave in front of the shiny lights, they em they emit great amounts I of heat. There's just too many man in here. It's, I thought that's what it was, but no. you know what it is. <laughs> well, it's a mixture. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's also something else which is like being on the boil, which yeah, I'm really excited to, about yeah. this one. Yeah, because I've I haven't seen it yet. I've well, I've seen like bits and you know, bits and pieces, but I haven't seen the whole shabam. We have been working on an extremely uh, unique piano library. Nice. Um, so, ooh. <laughs> yeah. can, I get, can, can I get a round of applause? The piano recorded uh, is called the Victory Vertical. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd never heard of it before this project. Uh, it's a Steinway upright piano. Uh, and what's really special about it is uh, it was commissioned uh, during World War II. So when the making of pianos was, uh, I think it was outlaw outlawed, <laughs> like, like it's the Wild West. But it was... Moonshine uh, pianos. Yeah, I think it's because uh, metals were going to other efforts mm -hmm. uh, and manufacturers went to other efforts. Steinway did the... The U.S. government commissioned Steinway to do a short run of upright pianos. Uh, they built them to be a lot sturdier, so that doesn't have these fine, ornate legs. Um, and the actual um, piano strings are made of a different material. The keys weren't... Oh, they made out of tin. Oh, I cannot remember. Was it nickel? A soft iron. A soft iron? Ooh. Oh. And they were lit. Someone has been researching. What a yeah. nerd. What a nerd. Um, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, well, they were like a sort of... Yes. What, um, celluloid? I didn't research that. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there we go. A plastic derivative. It's oh. um, Jack's oh. mastermind topic there. <laughs> um, but they built them to be sturdy because they shoved them in big freight, freight containers and threw them out of planes with little parachutes on the various war fronts. Mental, they chucked them out of planes. It's, it's they slightly mental. Well, so, the idea, so the idea was they wouldn't fall apart, they wouldn't go out of tune as easily, and in tropic climates, they wouldn't, like the keys wouldn't warp, ah. was the thought. And it was a very short run they did at the beginning, and it was quite successful and ended up doing a few thousand of them. But as you can imagine, if they're lobbing them out of planes <laughs> and they're not going through people's roofs, um, they're landing on beaches and then um, being well, suffering being outside, getting weathered. And then after um, the war was over, uh, either they were uh, irreparable or they were sort of taken into schools and churches around the world. Mm. Um, just imagine... Nice little walk on the beach with a dog and be like, that's a piano. Yeah. <laughs> um, so very few um, still exist, uh, even less are functional. Um, mm. I think we're down to single digits. Um, wow. If you Google, the only ones you see are in a museum. Um, but uh, thankfully, we're able to get a hold of one. Thanks mm. to uh, some cool friends, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Christian's got the cool friends. Uh, cool. I'm just very good at following around. <laughs> um, this piano, ha ha was that one ever? used in war had, was that yeah but uh, yeah it was it had to be um restored right so, so it actually went out and yeah and there's on the front lines that's insane and there's so much a story that will that will sort of come out but even the back of it like the back of an upright piano where it's usually quite plain it's just exposed wood the amount of things that like, carved into it and written on it and oh, oh, so in various languages wow <laughs> um yeah have any idea like where it went 
do you know what kind um, of I th- I, I, that should hopefully all come out when we Ooh, when we go on our amazing our online press tour but um yeah it was obviously a, a, the piano special because the heritage to it but it was also just got a really unique sound mm-hmm. um i don't think it had been tuned since it had been restored and we had this amazing piano tuner come in and have the worst four hours of our life <laughs> <laughs> as like as we were discussing whether we were even going to tune it or we wanted it to be kind of rugged a kind of chorusy mm-hmm. um and she came in and she was like, you know, every key is like three notes out. Whoa. It's like, this isn't out of tune. This is like transposed. Um, so she had a really tough time, did an amazing job. And afterwards was kind of really freaking out. They're like, you know, I need to come back tomorrow because like, this will go out of tune overnight now. Mm. So we had to do the whole. They went out of tune so fast. Is it once it's first been tuned? Again? Yeah, it's once, once it's had its first tuning and who knows how long it needs to be tuned, especially if we're smacking those keys quite frequently. How many days did it take to sample? And um, we just did it over a few days, but they were very arduous long days. Yeah. And we, this is where it gets geeky, we didn't sample it in the way people would normally sample pianos. Okay. Because why would we? Because people do that already. <laughs> um, I think a big part of this was it's a unique piano with a lovely story, but we wanted it to sound bloody cool as well. Amazing. Um, yeah. Can we hear it? Because like, yeah, I've literally seen what everyone who's watching has seen. Like I've seen Nish. I need to. Ooh. Did I say sorry? <laughs> Nish means nothing. I don't know if anyone's seen the EastEnders meme. Um, yeah, I'm not I'll, Scottish. I wonder when this was coming. <laughs> well, you can you can do all the cool gadgetry, but I won't. That's so nice. It sounds really twangy, like that kind of like live feel, where it's not like dead. It's not like a flat piano. Yeah, so it's, uh, like, obviously people in Kirk Hill, we've all done samples before, but it was a far more arduous process. We've been made fancier, so this should be a, yeah, you've got the sustain pedal. Um, so it's a mixture of sampling and modeling. No. So it's a real accurate representation of the dynamic range. This has gone really boring really fast. <laughs> um, this is what we're all here for. Yeah, but it's also like, I think we've got a reputation, like we're Crow Hill, why do a normal thing? Yeah, because there's like so many piano libraries out there already. Yeah, so we, so we did lots of fun stuff, which I'll, I'll show you. It's lovely. I'm gonna, enjoying that a lot. Gonna, no, sorry. <laughs> but, <laughs> but so we can spin my mic around. Background elevation music. Check, check, one, two, piano, p p p piano. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we've done a, a few things which are really cool. Also, if anyone getting really angry, they can't see what we're looking at. There is massive, lovely videos coming out with um, Christian, who has the, the better and bigger words than I. Um, <laughs> so we've got a few cool things that we did. So uh, something that I hate about sample libraries and piano libraries is when people just throw in, like, we've used 50 microphones, so here's 50 buttons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, that's great, but it's kind of like, okay, well, did, now I'm having to do the work. Yeah. Um, so we have lots of really fun curated mixes, but you're still able to kind of manipulate them um, so some are using microphones were actually from the 40s so you made sure oh. you used period accurate stuff so it's not just like wow. the AKG from down the shop it's like the serious no, no, it's, yeah, there's a historically informed yeah I love um, that <laughs> yeah, and also your computer will be able to run it <laughs> um, but what's really cool is just with one control Backwards, we have this distance parameter that lets you go back and forth like 10 meters of the piano. Nice. Um, which is nice. And the thing that's really fun is we did uh, really fancy resonance modeling. Ooh. Yep, that's, uh, that's, that's why I'm the cool kid. <laughs> um, we but, love you for it. Nice. But what's actually awesome about this, and just sat ever since I was about with the pedal down, that's when you know Christian's not here because that pedal would never be lifted. Um, <laughs> we added an actual crap ton of effects as well. So what kind of effects can we choose from? Well, the first one is you've done proper um, tape modeling. But instead of like, oh, this is a nice sounding um, tape, we have done... Oh, I can hear it warping already. We could do big sustained chords. We've got a text. <laughs> um, things that's my foot Ooh. Pedal. you can hear that wobble so much I'm just that's gonna come in clutch for like lo-fi stuff yeah so you've done this big there we go i just cracked up the volume so you've done the whole 
lo-fi vibe, but you can obviously be more subtle with it if you want. That's we, really lovely. We've also, uh, just a little teaser, we stopped, went to a lovely museum, the most niche museum possible, and all they have is 40s military radios. So we've also modeled all the compression and saturation that comes from those. Amazing. But on top of all that, we've also got a bunch of just absolutely wild sound effects. So if I switch off the tape... Wait, on the piano you've got sound effects? Mad sound effects, so... Okay. If I just start... Ooh. I'll just jam everything on. It barely sounds like a piano anymore. It's loud, it's like... How far can you go? Oh, it's, so we have, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go into detail of all the effects, but we have an insane full effect suite. So there's uh, reverbs, granular synthesis. Mm -hmm. analog, Wait, synthesis on there? Yeah, granular synthesis, uh, analog model delays, full mastering EQs, uh, and saturation and compression based off like those old military radios. Nice. So it was all... So the saturation is coming from the actual radio, like yes. is it... So we went, spent a day in this museum and we blew up one radio. <laughs> Yeah, uh, because they, they hadn't been switched on for 80 years. So that's like, really like, you've gone to like the deepest, darkest caves of like sound of being like, these things haven't even been switched on for 80 years, like never mind about sampled. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, with the idea of like, there's a million pianos out there and everyone just copying yeah. each other. So it's like... No one needs another 20 pound piano. It's no, like... <laughs> it's the idea of not only does this sound like the real thing, what well, sounds better than the real thing, um, and you can keep it pure like that, but you can do whatever the normal set crazy sound design processing mm -hmm. you want to do. The obviously, fact it's like taking you back in time is amazing. I yeah, and it's, and it's uh, stupidly accurate. Like we did use 40s microphones, use yeah. modern stuff as well, and you can sort of flick a switch between classic or 40s or. Nice. You know, like, can we hear some of the synthesis stuff? So it's, no, I'm. Does that can only show so much? But, um, you, I don't know. Can I swear <laughs> on it? Was, my mum might be watching or something. I don't know. I just, yeah, yeah. So it's, we've got full uh, granular, granular synthesis of the piano notes. Um, the tape thing is what everyone really enjoys. So if mm. I can, I tape's good because it's like yeah, I've got a really bad tape emulator. So it's, for me, it's like having this built in because I only ever use it for my piano anyway. Well, yeah. piano and drums, but yeah. So all the wobbles and drops and you can control, we've called it flux, so you can control the kind of shallow water pitch dives. But what's really nice is you've also included the sound and sound option. So you can actually loop inside the plugin as well. Mm -hmm. But I really just wanted to I really just wanted to end it with the the reason that I added the whole tape thing was just so I could do this. Nice. I just really wanted to and this really, really um drunk, not like us, drunk uh, tape start as well. <laughs> Whoa, 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 how's this working? How's Alice, Alice, swap, uh, swap seats. I haven't seen this yet. How'd you do that? How'd you do that? How'd you, how'd you, how'd you, how'd you, how does that work? Does that, how's that, what's, what's yeah. that do? What's that do? Yeah, so you have the ability. As loads of tape plugins, you can start and stop the plugin. But I think the issue with sampling is everyone just takes a little snapshot and goes, here's a sample. So we've obviously done that to an extent, but since you've got all these things modeled, we can now can we do a stop crazy stuff. We can do stuff. Yes. Play, uh, do you want me to stop it first? Let me yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Play a chord, I'll stop it. Nice. Yes, that's sweet. Okay, I'm doing stuff. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. It's the most gimmicky. Like, I don't know. No. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen uh, someone gave me a slight free reign for a couple hours, and I'm like, I'm going to do this. You need to do this more often. So it's literally I just. That makes you too happy. And obviously, the <sighs> idea of mixing it as well was just far away piano. Close it's piano. Close. I like it's far away. And what we could also do, this might get quite piercing, but we can model it coming through like a military <laughs> headset. So headset? Nice. Oh, that's going to sit right on top, but you're only doing something like, you don't want it to be too greedy. You want the piano to be there, but not be like taking up yeah. all the bottom, you know? Yeah. 
Who's rapping on top of this? <laughs> this is actually my first time seeing it as well, so I'm literally like... It's really beautiful. Yeah, and it's, I think it's the idea of... And Christian was saying as well, he's not here so I can pretend he said this. Christian said... Uh, first he said, holiday for everyone. Um, but I think he likes it as two parts. It's the piano and then the, all the effects. Yeah. I think we're being told to stop picking out that piano. Then. <sighs> <laughs> All right, Dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez. I'll, I'll leave this here so Alice can. Can we leave I it? Just keep staring at it. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, it's just like it's the way that 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 spurs your imagination on. I'm just like playing that, thinking what you could write with it, and like it may, it's just suddenly like opens up ideas, which is super cool. Because um, I don't know. I think sometimes because it's. Because it's a sample, it's sort of like I can close my mind to it. But when you play it and you hear it like that, it's like, oh, I my think God, that's going to inform. I want to yeah. make stuff with this. That's I think for me, it's that whole thing of, okay, you have a really nice sounding piano and you're like, cool. And now I have to open up all this other software just to make it sound half decent. Whereas this is like all, yeah, it's all in one. I can see it there. It's like isolated. It's like, mm. When do I, when do I get my hands on it? Uh, I think you can get it before other people. I think that's that's. Is that I'm allowed? I think that's the kind. Oh of, man, yeah. this just is just run away with that laptop. It belongs yeah. to someone in this room, but I think it's my laptop now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just what's your password again, Alan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. We got you. <laughs> so on the theme of pianos, yes. You're gonna tell us a little bit about what's been going on for World Piano Day, which is yeah. pretty cool. So yeah, Christian's been moving mad on on YouTube. He's been. Yeah, he's been putting out some good stuff. So, and there's loads of people getting involved with it, actually. I don't know if you guys saw. I was going to say put your hands up who's seen the Piano Day video, but I realized it's a podcast, so people watch it. <laughs> people <laughs> listening along are not having a great time with that. But yeah, if Christian put out a video where basically you can kind of collaborate with Christian on this Piano Day, which I think a few of us here have. I yep. haven't. I did. You did. Yeah. I'm not sure I did it right. I, have to say. <laughs> I was like, this should be easy, but yeah. I'm not sure. The end, I don't know what people did. The end, there was like a beep to make you play and then there was another mm -hmm. beep without a pitch and I was like does that mean stop <laughs> so I did I stopped and then there was another beep and I played again I don't know what other people did yeah, I'll have to give it a go I'll yeah have to give it a go tonight but I think that ends what day is it today today is the 27th so I think there's how many more days to submit I think it's done I think it is ready and we are gonna hear it how many people submitted 95 Hi. 95. Oh, so this is what Christian said that we're not allowed to listen to. Yeah, but we can listen to it now. We're, oh, we're, we're going to hear it. And I yeah. think I think he overdubbed everything 15 times. So it's like 1,400 pianos <laughs> playing at the same time. And now he's ill. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> it's the reason to blame. Blame Piano Day. Yeah, But honestly, piano like, day. for everyone that actually took the time to do it, like, thank you so much. Like, Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's super cool. It's nice when people come together to make something just for the sake of doing it. Yeah. Hi everyone, so sorry I couldn't make it tonight. I've really been struck down with a horrible lung infection, chest infection. Um, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone for their amazing contributions. It was like really short notice, really crap instructions. And the enthusiasm and uh, the variety of entries are just fantastic. Um, we're going to play the premiere tonight, but I'm actually this weekend going to make a video about how we made this and how I put it together. A hundred submissions, some stuff that we've done internally, every submission duplicated 15 times. And because they're slightly out of time with each other, this thing really pays off if you let it run to the end. But don't worry, it's not gonna be a long night. It's only three and a half minutes long. So all my love to you all for taking part. And I hope you agree that it's something pretty incredible to create something that you've never heard before. I think is, is a rarity and you're part of this and I think part of lots of stuff like this to come. Anyway, I'll stop waffling and get back to my scratcher.
know, because I feel like I'm waiting. Wait, what were you saying about their bad timing? Uh, oh, whoa, <laughs> slanderous. Now, I was going to say this, you know, really in the pocket, you know, that was like taking the pocket to a whole new level. That was insane. Like yeah. the, the polyrhythms coming out of that. Mm-hmm. Inse- oh. oh. <laughs> Crazy. I feel like this. I feel like this rule was made for you two specifically. I, yeah, I was like, Cam says insane all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you just said it again. Yeah. You just said it again. <laughs> I think that just shows. That, I think that track just shows how good Christian is at editing, yeah. and that <laughs> he should be editing our libraries. And like, I can just, I can chill. You and, you and Karen can have a day off. We can. I can go up a hill. A uh, little we can walk chill, up the hill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're just yeah, because if you can do that many tracks in that amount of time, then <laughs> what am I even doing? That's that's unreal. What an amazing sound that I is. I think, it's yeah, ridiculous. big hats off to everyone involved, because that's yeah. like, if you have one person doing that, it's just yeah. not going to hit the same. Totally. Yeah, a little, cl- <laughs> little, cl- little clap. Yeah, yeah. What are being shy for? It's crazy. 100%. It's the way it, like, go- it went into, like, jig time, and mm-hmm. it's just moving into all these crazy... There was one minute I was, amazing. like, stuck in between two dance. And, like, <laughs> my left side was giving it a little, <laughs> yeah, yeah. little bit of this pop, but the other side... You would give me the face like my dance moves are terrible. You were no, I'm just, I'm just like build and like more moves. More <laughs> yeah. moves. You want the hands coming out? Oh, someone's been abused. Uh, this is, <laughs> it's Cam Geek time. <laughs> yeah, um, go on, Cam. I feel uh, like this is the part of the show where you pat yourself on the back because this is yeah, this one is of those amazing. things where yeah, I don't fully understand. I see an acronym and I don't understand what you've done, so I'd like to know. But I know um, you're very proud of it. Yeah, I'm proud of it because a lot of people have asked for it, and I've and I've had the and the website every page is said like coming soon, which has just <laughs> been my way of like, do I have to? And we're like, I don't have time yet. But um, string memorations, so everyone should have got the email out, is mm. now uh, NKS compatible. So that is Native Instruments Control Standard. So if you have one of their fancy keyboards mm-hmm. that has um, dials on it and mm-hmm. little screens, it means uh, you can now load string memorations. A lovely graphic comes up on the screen and you don't have to even look at the software you can use the controls Mad. the uh the transposition of the keys what key you're in shows up as different keys on the keyboard um so it's a lot more intuitive with your hands yeah so the i guess is mainly um uh, for people looking to have like a singular ecosystem so you can use this thing called complete control and that way people don't have to load plugins in a, in a format they're not familiar with and they can go oh look those are the controls i need but the real benefit to it is it uh, opens up accessibility. So if you're um, hard of sight or if you struggle using sort of traditional peripherals like a mouse or something, um, but you're able to use a keyboard and um, rotary controllers, you can you can now use our software. So it's, it's been adopted by loads of companies, but it's just, it opens things up. And we do get quite frequent messages from people who aren't able to experience our, our software because it is, it's limited to a screen and a tiny trackpad. So mm-hmm. this opens things up to a far more physical realm. Mm-hmm. So you can scroll presets with a big dial. You can mix with physical hardware. I can imagine if you're like hard of sight, I can imagine that is like so much easier to Yeah, also access. also really like removes the learning curve of stuff as well. Like the, mm. what's the, the shortcut from inspiration to, to song? <laughs> you can now sort of press some buttons on the keyboard and, and scroll through the patches instead of load a plugin, click a browser, scroll. Um, so yeah, we're really proud that that's, that's come out. It's out today. Well, and we'll, we'll mate. slowly yeah. be rolling out to everything very soon. Yeah. Look at this. Look, we're all really? clapping today. Yeah. This is lovely. <laughs> Just press my applause. So, so, <laughs> so if you, uh, yeah, if you don't, if you've not seen String Morations yet, go check it out. Amazing. Mm. Fab. So I think we are going to um, hear some live music now. Uh, we are so delighted that we've got an amazing uh, musician, singer, songwriter and composer here with us. Um, so uh, the, the big reveal, we are so chuffed to have Zoe Pastel come and sing for us tonight. Um, and it's just a total treat. One of my favourite albums is Transients and it's just ugh, just absolutely gorgeous. Well, you'll hear it for yourself. Um, but Zoe's, I think Zoe's voice is one of the most ethereal, beautiful um, things. But on top of that, there's this incredible incredible sort of craftsmanship that goes into the music so it's not just a voice it's her whole craftsmanship around music and I can't wait to uh, dive into Zoe's creative process in a minute but first we're gonna hear her um so thank you so much Zoe and uh, over to you Thank you. 
Nice to hear people say those kinds nice of things. Nice things. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh. <laughs> As opposed to the other stuff they say. Oh, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, we we uh, we are, we're very carefully curating these uh, oh, live performances. Yeah, okay. So it's yeah, um yeah. it's just dreamy to have this quality coming yeah. in. Oh, it's so insane. So you. you've been really busy recently. Um, yeah, I have actually. I came from the studio today, so that was oh, good. Yeah. Very Star exciting. Life oh, no. yeah. I've been really fully um, tech heavy today, which has been nice. Hearing all that was like just an extension of mixing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool. You mix as well? No, 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 no. I wish <laughs> I wish I'd, I did. I did a, a, an engineering course for six months with the same studio that I'm working in. They were brilliant. It was fantastic. But um, no, I'm not. I'm not confident enough to say that I mix <laughs> yes yeah 
I, I know that feeling, but so you probably do skill. mix. Yeah. I probably do, but not, not to the extent in which um, a producer can do stuff. Yeah. Just hearing things, like frequencies. Oh, it's insane. You know, it's like, it? oh, there's that frequency is really loud. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they know which one it is to yeah. bring it down. Crazy. Have you ever thought of doing ear training, like, you know, like the frequency training? I'd love to, but... I might attract all the dogs in the area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got enough of it. Honestly, earlier on when we were in the green room, it was just carnage with dogs. It, it was. was yeah. It was so sweet. So, so small. Oh. So what have you been making? What were you I have doing? been making my new album. Amazing. Um, Zoe album three. Yes, it has been a long and tedious process. How long? I think... <sighs> I mean, some of these songs are like four or five years old. Maybe. Whoa. But the recording process has been, I think I started January last, of last year recording. Nice. Um, and then, yeah, it's just one of those. I want to do it. I'm so <laughs> anal about it. I want to <laughs> do it right. Um, totally. Yeah. So it's like working with the right people and making sure that you gel with them and also it gets yeah. the sound that you want and also the producer that I'm working with. Mm hmm. Um, Jamie, he's great. He's so um, specific about little things that, yeah, no, it's, it's fab. Can I ask a bit of a personal yeah. question? Yeah, go What's on. like your process for getting an album started and finished? Because that's, oh, that is... You, know, you see, I'd love to have a concept <laughs> album. That's what I want to do. I want to have a concept, which I think is what my next thing will be. I want to have a concept. I want to work on that. I want to think about all the aspects of it. These, This album and also my last couple of albums have just been... These are the songs from this date to this date, and it's just what I currently have that's mm -hmm. good. So it's it's marking a time in my life, mm. which is quite annoying. <laughs> Why is it annoying? <sighs> because to me, these songs are very specific from from like five years ago um, about where I was in my life and what I was doing, and the relationships I was in, and the people that I knew at that time. So that. Is it's like working through all that and making it into music and then releasing it. It feels it feels old to me. Mm. It also feels like old news. <laughs> so yeah. how do you get that fresh feeling yeah. when you're in the studio? Um, the song so collaboration, like definitely. Okay. Yeah, it's working with other people. I think so. Does it's, it make you hear in a completely new? Yeah, vibe? yeah, yeah. Because I've told these I've told these songs for ages, or I feel like I've told these songs for ages, and I'm like, this is a new one. Well, it isn't a new one, but it is a new one for you because you won't have heard it. But um, yeah, so th I think that. It, Collaboration is the biggest thing. Mm. Definitely working with other people because they bring something new anyway. Just being mm. people that are, you know, they hear stuff differently, but also they don't have the context I have, yeah. which is quite important. <laughs> and it can separate yourself from from the art that's embellished in a, your own personal totally. stuff. Yeah, and it's given me a nice clean, like okay, that was. Although they were about these things, I can now separate myself emotionally from mm -hmm. them. Get the emotive stuff when you're recording in the studio, but after that, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, done yeah. now. Yeah, put yeah. it in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yes. something else. I think it's like um, cross, like cross pollination with bees because yeah, I like that analogy. Like a, a human in, and then you've got two of you, and you sort of have a thing. But if you bring a third pollen or oh. set then it yeah. becomes this like I always I don't know if that makes any sense to no, anybody no, else at me, but yeah, it, yeah. It, it suddenly it's not like bringing a third person brings a third dimension it sort of brings like exponentially more dimensions the yeah, more people you add in the more exponentially like options appear yeah, yeah, yeah. because there's all these and then you've got lands coming in exactly Ooh. yeah Ooh. yeah <laughs> and do you tend to have you sort of taken musicians from other albums that you've done and brought them onto this or is it a whole fresh kind of oh, thing or um, no, I haven't. Uh, no, I haven't. So and that's that's fresh. because that album. So that my my last album was recorded in Denmark. Oh wow! Um, so oh. they were with musicians that were in Denmark. I was going to ask who the bass player was because ah, that's I love that so you go. Do you know Braymer McCoy? Oh, okay. the kind of ambient jazz. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. It's tiny little claim to their immenseness as musicians. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, Jonathan was. Fab, yeah, it was a stunning Beautiful. person to work with. Oh. Um, but I, my my bass player that I worked on this one is a guy called Simon Tono. He's also he was was based in I think he went to Napier. Um, similar kind of sound. It's that mm. Nick Drake, yeah, uh, John Martin era of bass, that real like wholesome, yeah, so warm, swang, yeah, <laughs> swang. <laughs> so it's like a cuddle, but yeah, it is yeah. swang, yeah, yeah, yeah. warbly, yeah, but it is cuddle warm. Bass, yeah, I like yeah. 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 yeah, I really was. I've been appreciating that a lot. Just oh, like, good. And yeah. like that art of being sort of 
Um, it's not being simple, but it's just not overplaying and just when they do, it's yes. like perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such Completely. a skill to sit like it is. in that middle. It really is. It really place. is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's so nice and it adds so much to, especially because it's ukulele that I'm yeah. playing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, so I was going to ask, like, how did you, <laughs> how did you get into that? Oh, it was a gift from some family friends. So I, I was kind of a, a, a dabbling musician when I was very young. I liked to sing and I liked to perform and um, I had a really great uh, primary school music teacher that came in that um, indoctrinated the children into loving woodwind instruments, <laughs> specifically oboe and bassoon. Um, so we were wow. quite uh, an interesting, no, she's lovely, lovely woman, um, but she spotted me and was like, you are an oboe player. And I was like, cool. So that means that my life expectancy will go down. <laughs> it's true, that's the oboe players are the ones that, that die sooner. In really? The yeah, 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 it's the pressure. Because of the pressure. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because it's a tiny read. Anyway, off point. Or her um, veins are just popping. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My sister played the oboe, and I did oh. give it a shot once. And it was mm. like, well, there you go. Mental. Seven years off your life. Oh. <laughs> oh, Flora, if you're listening, <laughs> it's gonna be okay. <laughs> um, and I think that's when I first realised that I was into music and that I'd like to do more with it. But I really didn't like grades. I didn't like. I mean, I loved listening to classical, but I didn't want to play it. It didn't. Mm. It didn't get me going. I mm. wasn't. And, and soothed by that um so I, I did give it up and I remember I had two teachers come and like take me outside and I'm like nine and they were like you, you, if you give up music you'll never do it again if you if you if you give up this oboe you will uh, you never play I used to play the clarinet and now I, I don't know how to do any music and I was like no 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 like no, I still want to be a musician but I just don't want to be in this vein mm-hmm. um yeah. so I started learning to play piano and flute um, but neither of these things I kind of sang with or I wrote with. I'd try and write pieces with, but that wasn't really my, like, it wasn't my my, my home thing. Um, mm. And then, yeah, this family friends sent me a ukulele and it clicked because I realised I could play and sing at the same time. Nice. And I could compose. And because it was, it felt, I don't want to say that the ukulele is simplistic, but it for a, for a beginner it felt really intuitive to start creating on quite fast mm-hmm. it wasn't like okay you need to know all these scales and yeah. you need to know all these things it was like okay you've got four strings four fingers <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go for it and then yeah it developed from there um so yeah i wrote my first song when i was 13 i remember going to my mom and dad in the kitchen being like i've written a song and then not saying this is rubbish Okay. Um, of course, they wouldn't say that, but um, they were. They told me afterwards they were quite surprised that it sounded like a song. Yeah. <laughs> um, were you impressed that you could kind of invoke that feeling in someone? Yeah, that's kind of what. That's the bit that gets addictive. I think. Mm. I think that's the bit. Did you say you're gets... addicted to that feeling? Definitely. What feeling would you say? Um, like if you had to distill it, making people cry. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a gig well done if somebody said you've reduced me to tears. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. okay, cool, I touched you. Yeah. That's great. It felt it, uh, You connected with me in a way that we felt something. That's important. That's connection. Do you have a method to like make people... No, I just do my own thing. It's just, it's very much, this is, I just need to... Authentic. If I think, if I start thinking about it like uh, I'm on this stage to impact you, then mm-hmm. it, you lose it because it needs to be for yourself. Yeah. It has to be oh, a... Joy. And that's, I, I guess that's... Making somebody else cry is something within yourself that you have to um, not modulate, regulate, I, I guess, mm-hmm. but um, you need to be real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's totally. To, yeah. Can I ask you a weird question that we got mm. from one of our commenters actually a while back was, <laughs> have you ever written a piece of music that has made you cry? Yes, quite a few now. Uh, this album, I cried through writing all of it. So I wrote, I wrote quite a few songs that I cried. Oh, I'm so sorry, that was my phone as well. Um, I thought I turned it off. Um, that I cried through every time. I kind of, it's a cathartic process of of getting the stuff out that I wanted to say. Um, but listening to the mixes back the other day, actually, uh, I I felt quite emotional. I did cry listening to mm. a couple of those. I was like, okay, cool, I'm doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so if you can make myself cry, maybe someone else yeah, yeah. will will feel that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope not, because... Oh, no, you said you hope they do. I you know, I know, say. I know, but I, I hope they don't relate to it quite exactly the same way. I think right. it's like... I wouldn't want to wish that on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think there's a therapy in in yes. sharing music, isn't yes. there? Because people hold back 
so much emotion daily mm. because you ha- sort of have to to function a little yeah. bit yeah yeah and it's a yeah. time like it's actually quite a, a golden opportunity to sit for two hours and not speak and just mm. be with your feelings and I think that's what's yeah well, for me anyway that's yeah, what's yeah. really special about music yeah, because you're true. passing something over and there's no discussion around it and it's just people feel stuff and yeah. that can be quite contagious and quite therapeutic yeah completely even if it's a really sad thing it's yeah. still yeah yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that's what's so amazing about music and that and that contagion that in it I never yeah. thought of that way of like we're suppressing our emotions 24 <laughs> 7 and then well not 24 7 I sound <laughs> like I'm in any therapy but we we like to to get by like day to day like you can't just go to the corner shop crying like well you can but I've done that advise it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 wow you know what I'll, I'll ask questions after but, uh, but we spend so much time like keeping this guard up and to actually finally True. just like yeah. take down those walls yeah 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 it's such a big thing it's funny that we associate crying with sadness far too yeah. often and I yeah. very often cry with happiness and have to inform people that they're happy tears i'm like no no no, it's fine i'm all right yeah um and in the same way as like processing through stuff that usually mm. comes out my eyes yeah um, <laughs> anger as well mm-hmm. i get when i'm angry yeah. i cry same which is really difficult when it's an, in an argument setting yeah yeah like, i'm not breaking <laughs> down my point's still valid <laughs> yeah yeah i'm a really <laughs> ugly crier as well so it just makes them laugh i'm like i'm oh. so angry and i'm like <laughs> 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 it's amazing what you were saying about the the ukulele just sort of opening sort of opening the floodgates of your creativity yeah, yeah, that that, yeah. that stuff will have always been in you but just not quite having the medium yeah. to get it out and I, I think that's something that's so amazing is when people find their like find their channel mm-hmm. whatever that is and it's often really different for people and I had the same experience with you where I actually sometimes found the sort of formality around the classical sort of institution yeah. Yeah. kind of shook it out of me a bit. The, mm. the, I felt like I had to sort of sidestep it a bit yeah. to be yeah. able to express properly. It's an intuitive thing. Yeah, exactly, right, yeah. Right. yeah. But it's so cool that you found that in the uke and tapped. And it, well, did it feel like you were having creative diarrhoea when you first sort of realised <laughs> that you could like make stuff with this thing? <laughs> I would have never called it that. But yeah, I guess that is what it was. Yeah. Um, you know, completely. I mean, I was quite young as well, so I don't think I fully um, realised what it was allowing me to do. Yeah. Obviously, I can look back now and be like, okay, that's a career of like 13 years later, of, you know. Um, but at the time, it just felt really good. Mm. And um, yeah, started putting stuff on YouTube and things. Amazing. Is that where it all kind of started to go? <laughs> Um, I think that's when my confidence began. I was like, okay, if I can do this in front of a camera, maybe mm. I can do it in front of more people. Um, but no, it was um, it was really small, but really meaningful. Uh, I think my first gig was supporting a friend in a really lovely little gallery at like her EP launch, and it was all like acoustic. Nice. And um, I felt like I needed four songs. I had a 20 minute set and I was like, right, if I can write four songs for that, then I can like progress. This mm. is important. I do this next bit. So I did that, and I was like, right, done that. That's great. I didn't look at anyone, <laughs> but I did it. Um, and then I think the next one was the, you know the um, Oxfam Ox Jam things. Yeah. So that was just in a little covered hut in a park, um, and it was it was just a little pop up thing for a a Saturday or a whatever, and there was a, a proper gig the next week in the local art centre and somebody had pulled out and because I did this jam the organiser nice. who is now a, an, a, a friend a, quite a uh, childhood friend now um, she said well you can take the place instead and at that gig was a booker for an arts festival who asked me to support um, Emily Smith who's a really beautiful folk singer mm. in Dumfries and also a little a little tiny local record label and that's what put out my first EP. Amazing. Wow. Um, that was all from so that was my third gig. Never um, skip a jam. That's the lesson. No, yeah. it's true, it's yeah. true. You don't know who's there. You have no idea yeah. who's in the audience. I think it's that thing of we always think we <laughs> do something for a reason, where it's sometimes it's the these most I don't know what the word is, is it benign? Where you think something's small. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. I took a gamble with that one, but you say so, you do something really small that you think is going to be mean, like meaningless. Yeah. yeah and, completely. Yeah. 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 I, I think there's something 
that I that I think why I really f love your music is because it feels like it comes from this it feels like it comes from that acoustic thing that you're describing like that first gig that because when I listen to it it takes me to like it's not that you're just playing with a uke even though when you are it's beautiful but sometimes there is a bass or there's other things yeah. but it still takes me to that really pure acoustic feel and like oh, we could be sitting around a campfire on a beach yeah, yeah. on Aaron yeah, yeah and yeah, I could yeah. hear that and that's sometimes mm. those moments are are really poignant and nostalgic mm. and somehow I think what you do is you manage to you, you respect that and you kind oh, of preserve yeah. it and even though there's it's bedded in in other sounds sometimes yeah. oh, thank I feel like that integrity for that core yeah. is really you know and you work we work so hard as musicians don't we to like have an acoustic sound and yeah, so true. it's important true, true, true. to yeah. to honor that and I, I, think I feel like you do I agree with you Ed, and thanks for <laughs> re realizing that I guess but um I get I think that's folk that's where the folk thing comes yeah. from there's that you're rooted in where you came from and all that has become of you that's why folk is so political that's why mm. folk is so passionate and um evolves amazingly through just sitting around having a jam yeah you know? i mean you've spoken where about where you've come from but what about where you are now how did you make that step from might have to make this a bit quick but how did you make that step from <laughs> from, from doing an EP you're on the whiteboard composing? yeah <laughs> um I'd, yeah it's just a journey i guess so it was after that EP I realised that I didn't want to go on and do higher education. So I, I, I left school after standard grades, the equivalent of, I don't know, GCSEs, um, and said to my parents, like, all right, I might be academic, but I, I want to do this full time. They're like, cool, do what the Beatles did, which is just play absolutely everything that you can be offered possible wow. and get as much experience as possible. I had a family from Liverpool, that's our... Great advice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's what I did. So I played absolutely everything. And I'd, like, kudos to them. They drove all over the country just to get me on a stage, understanding what it is to perform in front of people. Every possible thing that has gone wrong has gone wrong. You know, <laughs> I've had couples have a domestic in front of me oh, on a stage and I couldn't see them because of the dry ice, you know, all <laughs> these things. Um, so yeah, no, it was a really important th thing to do that and then it was building up to having a repertoire of music and then carrying on releasing. I was actually speaking to somebody recently who's kind of just starting their musical career and my advice to them was to write as much as possible and keep writing. I, have mm. a, I really struggle with like being, okay, this is one project, I'll do this and then I'll give my time, myself time to write but I think as a musician, as a songwriter, you need to keep that muscle going, mm. even if it's just for yourself. Yeah. So you don't get constipated. You know, you need that creative diarrhea. Yeah, creative diarrhea. Yeah, creative <laughs> diarrhea. That's what Quote it's that. Quote that. You yeah. need the diarrhea. <laughs> well, speaking of diarrhea... Uh, it is another seamless se segue. Thank you. <laughs> they call me Senor Segway. Segway? <laughs> Senor Segway in Spain. <laughs> Um, diarrhea, oranges. Oranges are a fruit. Amazing. <laughs> fruit Amazing. have vitamin C. Really good. Uh, so <laughs> thank you. Yeah, round of applause. We'll send you a segue. Uh, do we look like this way, Anna? Let's see how good your throat is. That's a solid throat. That's a good mm. arm. That's the village in you. That's, that's the country. Uh, we've, got, <laughs> we've got a pedal. It's called the Flora Vault. Um, it's a pedal that is powered by fruit. Hence, why didn't I, you know, I said, I don't know why fruit has so much power. You know, that was, <laughs> that was just a really good joke. So we tried it out earlier with a different fruit. So now we're going to plug in your uke, which is already oh, plugged in. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I love the bow on that, by the way. It's Thank like, you. It's, it's, Thank it's, you. It's a nice I touch. think it was from a present and my, the shoestring broke. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Do you want to have the honours of, 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 of I think you should, impaling it? You should be first so it, stabber. Wait, you do impale it. Okay. No, because it's fruit powered. This this power fruits. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Oh, it's on. Hey. Yeah. Hang on. What do these things do? Gives it citrusy punch. More distortion. Ah. It really so comes. Give it a wee turn well. while while Zoe. The orange. <laughs> oh no, the the. <laughs> 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 okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> what do you think, Zoe? Next game? Uh, yeah, it's interesting. 
often, isn't it? Um... <laughs> <laughs> And then some nice little high notes, like a... Oh, I was doing some... Um, I do like the way the harmonics sound, actually. That's pretty cool. God, if only your producer could see you now. <laughs> He's like, I've got the next big idea. <laughs> How's about we impale another fruit on Yeah, let's see if it changes it. All right, all right. It's banana. It's another solid throat. Notice that was a left hand catch as well, you know. Well oh. done, well done. You told us earlier uh, you could catch things in your mouth. <laughs> Can you please <laughs> throw the banana not, back? Is, is that you want to? No, no, banana. We'll try. I don't know which one would look worse, actually. Bana right. Throw the Let's banana, do banana back. It won't break my face. Right. Yeah, nice and soft. Oh, fuck it. What's that? I was put my hair up first. <laughs> oh, right. right, there's a whole procedure. Oh, okay. You've seen this hair uh, locked down everywhere. Oh! That was a lie, by the way. I, I actually oh. wasn't in the circus. Oh, right. Yeah. It was a lie. Oh, yeah. you'd never know. That's quite good. That, it was... I'm getting the same kind of fruity vibes. This one sounds a bit thicker, though. Am I imagining it? Sweeter. It's like it's Scott a vibe. Pilgrim it's voice. a vibe. Yeah. I feel like I want to like rap sing about society when I hear this kind of. Please do. <laughs> it does sound sweeter. You need to, do you, you, need get, to um, do you get anything to clean the pegs with in the box? No, I think it says to use a dry, a wet cloth and a dry cloth or a toothbrush. Right, mm. so quite an involved Yes, yeah, quite high maintenance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need your little mm. clean after the gig tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should really clean your pedals after gigs. Mine is gross. Oh, we're learning <laughs> a lot so today. Don't skip jams and clean your pedals. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can we hear you play something like Super, super delicate with like super loads delicate. of distortion. With loads of, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's the song. I'm really impressed as well. You can play underneath the bow without like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can see. I like the banana. banana. It's nice. I like the banana. Yeah, like yeah it's good. It's good All right, am oh, I cap apple. I'm not catching this with my mouth. I like my teeth. You want me to head it? Like, head it back in? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a little tiny switch at the side as well. Does that, yeah, there's this little, what does that Ooh. do? So. Science of like one impaled on each. Mm. Heads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just jealous. I find all this stuff kind of really fun. Oh, for me? Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But don't you need a full circuit? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on, Thanks, you guys. Um, oh, I actually quite like the aesthetics of that more than the others. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll play like. It's giving me vibes of like bad sound on a gig. You know, <laughs> so if you if you ever have a bad sound gig, you could just put that out at the I'd front. Be like, no, and no, be no, like, no. This is just the way it's meant to. Yeah, be. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Am I allowed? No, to I, said, I fuck with it. Honestly, the, colour, <laughs> the fruit. Honestly, I'm I'm. It's fun. It's fun. I'm not I the right musician fuck for with this. It, but yeah, I yeah. think. I think. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Uh, no, I don't. I think you're. I think you're owning it. Thank you. You've got a little fruit pedal. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Not anymore. Have we got a lemon? Let's do the lemon. Full citrus. Bow. Uh, See you there. See you there. Well done. <laughs> right, let's do this. I don't think you guys. Can you hear the noise that it's making whenever you put something down on it? I got the same as having like two batteries in there. 
<gasps> Don't do that, people. Oh, look at that juice. I know, I'm worried about it. It's okay. Okay, okay. I'll can do handle the same it. thing Laura and then handle it. it. Sounds brighter to me. <laughs> yeah, it's zingy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> zingy pop. Uh, so Let's do. No? No? No, no. <laughs> You're a real one. You're a real one. <laughs> I thought Zingy Pop's my best one. Yeah, I don't know. Sarcastic what... one clap was amazing. Do do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's find out. Jojo, <laughs> okay. Jojo, can I open it? Yeah, yeah. Whoa! What's this witchcraft? Here's time for my here's time for my random fact time. Monkeys open bananas from that end. Wow! Because for anyone watching this better. on YouTube, one of the drinking games is any time that anyone says random fact, you've got to drink. Yeah. So random there fact was a random well. fact yeah. of the night. There we go. Thank you. It's the correct way to open a so banana, right there. Insane random fact. Can I ask a question? <laughs> Why do Nobody's Why are we judging thing. like monkeys as having it right? Because they are the, the OG first? banana eaters. <laughs> yeah, they are the OG banana eaters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. but they don't even have they tissue. Know. Like, why am I gonna? They don't have tissue. Yeah, they throw poop around. They like. Oh, why they am I gonna trust tissue. them with opening a banana? Like, uh, that's. They don't even I have really, tissue. I was really that's so much a random I know that there's thing. There's a plant that they started using that is like toilet paper. Huh. It's like got a leaf about this big. <laughs> See, you can you know, throw it. Monkeys, I was unfamiliar with your game. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> You're right. You do open bananas right. As oh, it does sound different. It's quite gnarly. Can we get a banana with skin so we can do like a <laughs> before and after? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Forget about before and after. Yeah, yeah that is different. <laughs> I feel like that's the most. Um, Apple's quieter. I think it's a bit warmer. <laughs> well, there we have it. The flora pedal. You know, what, does it get a clap? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Also, I think that's like one of the last two that are available ever. So, well, not really? Ever, but I think they're gone. They're gone. Really? Limited. Uh, wow. Oh, so somebody could win one of the last This is two. what they're winning. This exact <laughs> juice and all. And it will be, I was about to say, is it going to be clean? <laughs> yeah. I got a spare toothbrush with me, or you can have some with my used toothbrush if you want. It's really, it's taking a bit of a battering. It's looking juicy over there. It is quite juicy. <laughs> so we have one last. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm. Oh. So the vaults challenge, the vaults challenge, yeah. the vaults challenge. Is that it? Did did anyone see that online? So basically, YouTube video. Yeah. Um, it was with all of vaults beta. So that's the six instruments. Um, the de when was the deadline? It was last week, right? But yeah, thank you to everyone who submitted uh, their music. Um, it's been a good vibe. I yeah. Think. Yeah. I think it's one of those things. It's so refreshing to hear outside of the circle how much and different things are coming in. Yes. So yeah, thank you for everyone for doing Cross that. Cross-pollination. Cross, oh, that's that lavender honey right there. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we've got the winner. In fact, do you want to have the honour of reading it out? Oh, can I? Yeah. Oh. They're going to play um, us out as well. The name of the person you cut. Okay, cool. So, oh, um. <coughs> Where's my drum pad when I need it? <laughs> <laughs> right, I might pronounce this incorrectly, but it's en enlimila en enlimina enlimilia en sorry enlimila enlimila into the vaults vault Woo! into the vaults cool name yeah congrats ah.
fine. All right. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, that's been it's good been fun. lovely to chat. And thanks to everyone for tuning in and hearing our um, debrief. And we'll give you another one in a month. Yeah. It's been good fun. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Woo! Bye. <laughs>